What's up guys, this is the Brave and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off where we left off, we are being sighted upon by this force, uh, the garrison of Vienna and they are bringing in some reinforcements. However, we are quite badly depleted so we will be set back quite significantly. And depending on how many turns Vienna has left, um, if we take Vienna, then I'll stay there. But if I'm still sieging Vienna, depending on what the garrison looks like, I might just retreat because we are very, very, very depleted. I would withdraw, but I cannot. So let us attack. Um, going really far back to make sure their, their mortars don't get a chance to shoot at me. Because there's one thing I don't want is to have my army just be pounded into the dirt with AI guided round shots. That would be pretty, pretty, pretty bad for us. And it would probably result in the destruction of my entire army. So, have a look. Ooh, perfect defensive terrain as well. God, that's a very small army, isn't it? Okay, so. Instead of guns pointing. I, guess I might want to set guns pointing that way. Because I think the reinforcements are coming in from over here. Now let's pick some roughly similar sized infantry. What a pathetic line. The only saving grace is that they are also reasonably depleted. So let's cluster a bunch of small units on one flank. Move my down instead of guns. Let's put a unit of guards. Tiny unit of grenadiers. And the remnants of my infantry over here. All these trenches, but they're not really trenches. Then we've got our howitzers, which without quick line sadly will not be as useful. 18 units of cavalry and our general. Oh no. Oh no. Everyone focus fire on some form of their, of their mortars. Oh no. I could just retreat now, but I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't know what the... Oh god. It's who they can shoot at. Oh god. Not the centre of my line. See, so they've already got 30. 12. See, that, that's already devastating. got to pull back. I've got to. This is not going to be super let down for you guys, but this is not going to be go well. It's not going to go well at all. Get the hell out of dodge. Because those, those mortars are just, would just tear me apart before I can even get in. Even if, I, even if I advanced. Okay, so, watch this sure as hell. I've not, good. So my concern was that they would, that it would count as me having a crushing defeat and it would absolutely eviscerate this army. But no, it has, I've only lost 84 men. Fall back. Damn right, fall back. Ooh, do I want to intercept them at Zagreb? No. <laughs> You're not going to lure me into sending my army in to attack you. Ah, oh, so big letdown for you. First off, holy hell, it would have that would have annihilated me so badly, and I can't really afford to lose an army so easily. I surprised myself by retreating. If the howitzers were inside the city, 
then I might be able to have a crack at it. It'd be tough, but I'd have a crack. With the mortars outside, no. I haven't got the strength to attack. And they were just... They were just absolutely eviscerate me. If I stood back and plinked. Because I, I had significantly less good artillery than them. I mean, even if I had full artillery batteries, I'd still be a bit unsure. Because full artillery seems to have a real, real problem trying to target... Um, mortars. You usually need something like shrapnel shot or some sort of better wider area of effect weapon to actually hit the crews because they're much smaller than foot artillery. There is units. a port in this region that has not yep, yet been away. Select the type of port to construct. Let's see, like user. Let's get into Zagreb. Okay, well, let's use this as an opportunity to protect. Elite troops. If I bunch the marines up, I might better retain this unit as a full highly trained unit of marines. The rest of the infantry is all pretty weak. Let's, let's bunch them into Zagreb to at least have some strength. So then at least we could we can eviscerate this stack. Um, I would like your orders, Your Majesty. Okay, so. Guns get to Genoa. I remember this battle. So let's. Emergency recruit some troops to garrison Venice, because it is open now. Um, I will split up. Hamilton's force to provide Forward. a mining garrison. And, country. and then that's probably March. a bit unbalanced still. Anything more? So what, what I want to do. Well, no. Well, this whole area depends on what happens here. So I'm taking my Genoa garrison with Dragoons. Hit Bonadien de Calon. I mean, that's just a fragment. I mean, so this is going to be an hour special, so we are going to get into some proper battles, but that's just a absolute mopping up. Victory! So let's push him west. Immediately. I mean, no one needs to. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't afford to replenish. That's what it is. Pull my dragoons back to Genoa. One unit does the trick, but two units just to be safe. Turin garrison, stay replenishing where you are. Granville, you stay where you are. You could probably intercept them if, if they attack you. So then over in the Americas, so we've got we've got Bogota. We're marching up to New Spain's new border. 35,000 next turn, that's significantly more than I got this turn. Bunch of chaff from Britain's armies. Yep, this force under Harry Barry can stay here because it needs, I might, having a force somewhere to the south would be useful. I do have my garrison up in Philadelphia as well, under Noel Croft. See, it does, to me, it feels like Britain wants to attack me, but it can't get over the idea of attacking the, United, the 13 colonies because they've never done it before. Okay, I'm going to get Charlotte to work on. Oh, no, my building and my the advanced barracks. I just need to get the army board and the gunnery school. Although I might be building them in Venice. Um... Yeah, that's right. You fall back, France. You got nothing. Although I am at war. Yep, the Austrians are gathering an army. Uh, potentially, yes. No. One Lombardy. No. <laughs> so. 
so. To be honest, I think I just need to build up I mean, five armies in northern Italy. <laughs> um, two facing Austria, the pass to Bavaria, and then bring the spare arm. If you could have the Napoleon style version of France, or at least break up into maybe two or three, and I maybe have too much French um, strength, tax strength. Because in this game, tax is everything. Trying to do different things to induce the AI to not make that decision, whatever it's doing, to cause this horrendous loop. But apart from that, it will probably it will probably be a game a game ender because you have, even I'm stumped at why it's taking this long, especially because they've lost. I don't know. I suppose they do have Persia. If I get if I get some spies in India, I want to send. What are you gonna do? Ooh. <gasps> Movement. Um, what I might end up doing is chopping the recording while I'm hitting end turns because this is a bit silly now. It's been three four minutes, something like that. There we go. Yeah, at least when we've got visibility on what's going on, it you can see what the AI is doing, and it makes more. You can understand what it's trying to do, and you get a bit more of an idea on what it's actually trying to do. Well, the Ottomans do go into this crazy loop of just ferreting troops around all over the place, in loop after loop after loop after loop. Um, they still do have a goal, like that random maze of troops will eventually spit out there is a port an army. in this region that has not yet been developed select the type okay you know what have have a new port okay so let's bring these these elite troops back to andrew hamilton because that combined with the little well that's not very much of a garrison so I probably want to build two units of line then let's get two grenadier guards two line infantry guards and a heavy cavalry at the ready um, Camadeus March out through the north. I think we can In abandon position. Now we cannot abandon Turin, so we're going to lose our one turn ready for order. of a handful Can't of attacks. Then let's send Granville Sound to raid Marseille. Probably leave a militia unit in there and actually take the bridge. Ready for if they wish to make an issue of it, then they can. By the left. She might March. be able to move out. March. Yes. Forward. You can be taxed. <laughs> Good old dragoons. Okie dokie. So. We're going to need cash. Coal hard cash. He's still replenishing. So, but yeah, eventually they're going to come and hit us with an army. I know I want to kill them, but I might have to fall back. No, I don't want to fall back. You can stay there for now. That's a good enough army, especially if I get another turn of replenishment in. Because if I move these guys forward, they'll get intercepted by them. But they might be scared to intercept it because of the army in Zagreb. I don't really have a need to risk it at the moment. Focus on these iron workshops when it comes to cash. And let's probably go for the army board as more of a priority. Because it's already wealthy. Let's go for this commercial port because it is prosperous and so end up producing more cash. 33 turn for spices. Got some of those though.
So the New Spain are sending troops south. Especially this army. Although we are at peace with them. So we get a good view on what's going on because of our spy. Well, actually, he's, he's set up a network. So let's move Peyton Hawthorne further up. Men, forward. He's being recent reinforced with forward. two more units of line, but I'll take a few turns to get there. Volcatize only has two grand a turn, which is nice. That's the Venice recruitment. Andrew's okay. Oh, I should really check these out before I spend all my money. Because now, now I need to remember to upgrade Richmond and probably upgrade go on a road building spree. Cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the recording and then hit enter. So you guys aren't waiting forever. So see you guys in a second. Select the type right, of yeah. to construct. That was actually a fishing port. That was actually much quicker. Grow. A trade port that was much quicker than it was last time. So much so I was still trade. texting someone on my phone. Naval port allows the construction. So we've got a road. Roads have been built. So the only major thing that's cause for concern is this chap trying to get around the flank into northern Italy. Yes. However, we can just do this. Forward. And position ourselves back. Ahead of him. So we've got visibility on these two French armies. Um, this one's yeah, they've got some guerrilla mercenaries and lots of solid line with some that are actually quite experienced. So let's go to the so go this side of the Weaver's cottage so we can reinforce it. Let's keep Amadeus is replenished. Oh no, there's one the line infantry guards have ruined it. Some great niece. Your orders, your majesty. You could probably do with a couple of a couple of elite units and some howitzers. Well, you've already got you got two two got two guards and an engineer. So let's get two marines, two marines, another guard. Oh, let's get another engineer. There we go. Okay, okay. So as you can see, Austria is. They're gathering an army together. Two generals, a bunch of chaff. Riley Whitefield is ready to move, but I think he's gonna stay where he is. Okay, so you're recruiting a infantry army board in Rome. So let's build the gunnery school in Venice. Just so we're not double accounting for the meantime. Let's upgrade some roads in Genoa and in Venice. Then let's hop over to the Americas, where I've not really spent much time at all. Let's upgrade the port in Boston. Can't upgrade roads. Oh, Mr. Mine. It's only a low yield silver mine, though, so I don't want to pull the trigger just yet. Poor trading port. Aha! See? <laughs> always forget the new buildings. Craft workshops are always good to start off. And let's go for a commercial port in Charleston. Not that I think they're having any problems exporting. No. Successful mission still in New Mexico. And yes, they've got lots of troops and this army is working its way south. Your humble servant. Onward. I can't build a fort. Your troops are, are on route. And these guys are, are a bit of a concern. Or well, to be honest, I should really. Take the navy, I have not used much at all. And then blockade Barbados, just to make sure that these guys don't form a breakout into any of my, re into my valuable territories. making sure that there's no surprises in terms of territory because in the Pueblo nations of New Mexico, Santa Fe they don't normally expand or at least I haven't seen them expand good see I don't want to declare I don't want to fight you Texas let's trade let's make money together see basic necessities lots of other goods as much other goods as we're exporting to pretty much everyone else including Britain Sweet. 
Okay, his only concern is an army marching out from Vienna and attacking us at Zagreb, but that's okay. So that last end turn was so fast, I might just hit end turn without cutting the recording and see what happens. Yeah, they've fallen back. Look! <gasps> oh, do I want to do I want to do that? What? Oh. Oh, it's because I refuse to intercept them. The scoundrels. Well, I need to intercept... No, I don't. Another turn to re repair, to replenish. Okay, so Amadeus... Oh, God. God damn it, Empire. Um, so I didn't intercept. I didn't anticipate they were just going to run past me. See, they're not at war. See, they Prussia is enemies with pretty much everyone I like. So I don't want to make peace, really. But what if I just did this? I mean, fine. Have naval architectures. Not that the Prussian navy is that much of a threat, especially with the Polish navy right there. It's really just to, to knock down their main port in Berlin. Okay, so here's the test. Last time, it went really quickly for the Ottomans. But this time... Hey, see? That's what happened last time. <laughs> That's what caught me unaw unawares. Well, the Russians would provide quite an interesting late-game enemy. What with their strong navy, lots of armies... Yeah, when that army reaches to the south, I won't be surprised if, if they attacked me. But I want to build a fort so I can hold them off. If there is a port in this region that has not yet been developed, okay, we've upgraded our, some of our tanks. Oh, oh, the, Ot the Russian Ottomans did take Istanbul back, or it successfully rebelled. And we've also got Athens. The Russians do anyway. Okay, so I want to make sure. That you build your fort and you upgrade it to an artillery fort. Then I can just Sir. forget about it. Meagy yield gold mine, meagy yield gold mine. High yield silver mine. I'll take it. Okay, now watch Sir. this go. Not wrong, but bring me into war, into a fight. I want to get this side of him. By the land. Oh, I have. March. Yes, my lord. I mean, I'd like some artillery. Yes, sir. I know lord. I'm very picky at the minute. Um, lord. But let's take him. Let's teach them to invade our territory. Attack. Because we will need to. So we can't just swallow around and let them. Can't just swallow around and let them do what they like all day. Especially as I have such little artillery. artillery reporting. Good position up on the hill. Split my army in half because you can't deploy in front of this, in front of, in front of the artillery directly because it's the uh, terrain feature. Move the howitzer up with us. Put, let's put a cavalry unit on each flank. Center. Engaged. To be honest, the house will probably engage from there. You also want to abandon? 
this side of the town, so we need to be ready to advance up at speed. Let's run up some of our infantry. Good, lots of damage to their guns. Bit of a sound bug. Let's advance this infantry squad to the right. This infantry detachment can push up. Supply it supported with cavalry. Okay, the artillery is routing. Let's target the Swiss grenadiers and this unit of Swiss grenadiers. can target this unit of Swiss guard. But they're nicely bunching up for us. So let's curve the flanks of our formation in slightly. One line infantry unit. Send my regiment of horse into the carabiners. Send all my line infantry into support. It's probably not needed, but they've got no other targets. General General's bodyguard is suiciding into us. You need four square. In the main infantry battle has started. Mercenaries are going to wander into musket fire. I think I'm okay with this formation. This bear formation's broken. Good. Let's move out this unit of cavalry. Set this unit of, unit of infantry into a position to fire on this unit of Swiss Guard. They get absolutely obliterated from our artillery. Good show, lads. We haven't given them a good look. Swiss Grenadiers look bad. Third Regiment. Third Regiment foot Swiss Guard. Is that what they also Maybe I'll take care of that infantry unit without much problem. I'm mainly watching to see when these guys come in to throw the cavalry in. Until then, we might just put them in a position to skirt and chase down some of their retreating units. their chances. Okay, send them in. Let's get my howitzers to engage. My mercenaries and support. Okay, let's pivot those guys to fire the general. These guys can continue their advance against the guards. Well, if 
the Swiss Grenadiers. That's what I'm Swiss Guard. Well, I might take you too far away from the best. Best target. Move up and secure the ridge. Shooting with the Swiss Guard is on the docket by the looks of it. So you got this one last grenadier. Quickly. Good lads. Straight into the Swiss Guard. Retarget the artillery. Shoot it. Just some European mercenary over there. Don't bring the general in, not yet. Also hack down this unit of Swiss Guard. Come on, lads. Swiss Guard is something you shouldn't pass up. Chase down them. It's a target for them when they, when they eventually get back into the fight. So I've sent them to engage the Grenadiers. Whether or not they get there, I doubt they will. So I may as well set them on another target. My general to engage the line infantry. Absolutely continue. Let's hold the artillery fire. So let's triple speed it up. Just do as much damage as you can. Come back, because the bulk of them are trying to run a different direction now. I think I might, I might name the 7th, because they've done a really good job. Knocking down lots of the units. Christ, so have the second. As my general charges in, also fancying himself for cavalrymen. They've routed. Come on. Single Frenchman, reveal yourself. In he goes. Oh, they are going to round though. Oh, I don't know. No, they've, they've gone funny. Twelfth. The ninth are dead. Well, there's nine of them, sorry. One of them. Damn right, it was a decisive victory. We destroyed a. F in the southern France region. Damn right, Amadeus Crisp. So, seventh. You're going to be named. Uh, what's it I've, I've completely blanked. Cool. <laughs> Caps 
back on. The Sentinels. It's them Sentinels. And the second. I can't spell dread, I can't do. Okay, let's do. There you go. Second. Second. Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts. Sentinels and the Dreadnoughts. Good stuff. So they're ready to rock and roll. Ready for order. Groundville is. Oh, it's going to receive them. So let's move up. That howitzer in support, probably a unit of dragoons. Waiting for your order. They can be spared. This might be a bit of a bit of a different story. Then again, no, they've got lots more artillery than you do, than I do. Fortunately, Amadeus can't come in for support. Let's move up to the hill. Your Majesty. Um, it's tempting to fall back to about here. Forward, march. Can still got coverage, but it also gives them a bit of time. Gives them an opportunity to bounce around and raid Forward. if that's what they were inclined to do. Yep, still recruiting stuff. The Phoenician garrison still ready. Okay, I could just go lay siege, lay siege to Vienna again. Well, actually, I'll I'll let this army build up. Because if I move to take Vienna, I'll lose Zagreb, and then I have no safe line of retreat. So if I wait where I am, I mean, I could kill them with them now, actually. Yes. and victorious. Dice up battle. Forward. March. Forward. Back to Zagreb. March. You guys can finish them off. Ready. Pff, or not. Sound the call to That's battle. not frustrating at all. Uh, cavalry, 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 there is none. These guys didn't even get. Didn't even get any experience for it. Make ready. Mark. Uh, Kidoki. I think that's everything. Oh, Francois Delville. Experienced general. Kidoki, end turn. <laughs> oh, okay, the French can start blockading me. Wait a minute, how did the French escape the blockade of Barbados? I was blockading them. How did they leave? The Spanish going to start spreading Catholicism through my damn territories. The swines. It would be nice to try to kill that. Uh, that priest. Oh, the Poles are raiding Berlin. <laughs> they get to say that very often. Last turn. Last turn. I mean, the Russians are doing being very aggressive in this ca in this campaign. They're reorientating their forces to the south. Building up the Black Sea fleet with a new squadron. Well, they're en route to the Black Sea. Yeah, the Russians are mopping up. I mean, I don't get why you raid... You raid too much when you're on your way to capture the settlement. Because all you're doing is just causing yourself grief and when you need to actually take it. There is a port in this region that this is has not been yet raided, developed. which is fine. Select the top. Puerto Mazuya. Okay. Okay. Well, straight up Munich. Could, well, we'd go back in and get it, but Westphalia will use that as, as a vector of attack. Yes. Okay, your stuff is on. Send the militia to the port. I'm happy with them staying here because it's just holding these guys off at long at, at, at distance. Yes, sir. Remove my carbines out to another territory.
tree. I'm sure you guys watching me at home are saying, no, he's not utilizing so many of his troops. You're goddamn right. Uh, let's take... Stop recruiting the marines. Get a unit of line. Then that last slot can be filled with a new general. Leonard Spencer. Old love Lord Lenny's going to be storming in. Okay, let's upgrade the last military buildings just to balance it out. Could we search light infantry doctrine? Chasseur Britannique. I don't do bills of men, bills of men do wealth of nations. Much more important. Ooh, and I have a new city, a new region in Rome. A, city, a region that's in a city happy enough that I can build a church school and they not get too freaky about it. Well, I would like Verona to be spawning more rakes than it currently is, which is none. Okay, so let's send just Prepare the troops for battle. To chop, to Not to chop them up. Men forward. Good. Can't build a sloop. It's broken. Might get raided, but we will oh no, run some cavalry into it to secure it. See, these guys well, I could replace this with a with a more suitable besieging or a garrison army which is probably the better thing to do because these I've not seen any attacks through here yet in fact that might be what happens to to this Venetian selection so Andrew Hamilton you might go west instead there are currently to face the no French stationed at this fort as These things stand, garrison it could easily Moncton. be occupied by a And let's recruit two howitzers to go join them at the fort. There's probably no need. Oh, let's get some pandals, some irregulars to put on the walls. No, she. No, they're irregulars, they're not like light infantry per se. Um. Workshop in Richmond becomes a weaver's cottage. You've migrated to, com to a commercial port. Could probably also do with. Alert could become the flagship, but I need to build another second rate. This one's got less hull strength and more speed. Fairly negligible in both ways. Neg negligible the differences, that is. Leon. Good stuff. So let's check. Okay, so my priest up here has converted Montreal back. So he's going to follow this priest, and I'm pretty darn sure I don't have any rakes. Oh no. You. Okay. See what others I have. One in New Spain. Yeah. Oh, I do have a do you have a rake in Austria? More would be good. First horse guards. Probably from the Royal no, not from the Royal Palace. Must better get them from a drill school. Yeah, well there they are. There's the last one, the last Ottoman Empire territories this side of the Russian line. Okay, that's everything I think. Good, that fort's still being built. Oh god! Oh no! Not an army! <laughs> I'm going to pay for not having a navy. <laughs> Finally, my uppance has come. God damn it. <laughs>
Polish army, whereas you can recruit, possibly be, you can't recruit them. Oh no! I mean, I'm trying to play this as an honourable character, as an honourable player. The the, 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 the the snidey part of me would want to just break the alliance, but no. Because if I break the alliance, it causes problems in the Americas, and I'm, that's not what I'm about in this campaign. Let's enter war on the side of our allies. So everything's just got so much more complicated in Europe. And I might try to make a few immediate pieces. Although, it oh no, that's just that's just the Russian colour. I think in the map, hmm. I'm curious where Poland is actually at war with the Cherokee. Although right now Poland is like their only enemy, so wherever they are, they're going to get stormed by a bunch of re really really angry natives. See, we back to you, Cherokee. We back to you. Although, let's have a look at. There is a port in this region that has not yet. Okay, so am I at war with Russia? No, good. I mean, I've got to be at war with Poland because you declared on my ally. The Mughals. Peace and trade. Go on, then have five grand. Just leave me alone. Make ready. Waiting further order. Go on, come near me and I'll just tear you up. Okie dokie, so. The French are here. Please be a weak navy. Fairly weak. Weak Great enough that this will scare you to not leave port. Let's make... Oh, none of these are... Please be another ship. No, damn it. Let's upgrade you. So, so let's go back to Boston. Admiral's flagship. And let's get... Two first rates. And let's see if that's enough to to ward them off. See, if they do attack us, they're going to get annihilated, especially as when we get... Uh, we become an artillery fort. Pardon me. Sorry, that was just a really sudden... really sudden burp. 37 grand. So we're at war with France, Westphalia, not with Prussia, Poland, Austria. Austria is not allied with Poland. But they are allied with Spain and Russia. So Spain and Russia didn't join them. But they are still annoyed. But let's take Andrew Hamilton, one of the OGs, send him into Nice. Because now we can destroy the army. Let's attack. So now I've got three armies ready. And once we hit, take Paris, Westphalia is going to come storming in. But we'll have a good, we'll have a super powerful region. Paris is really powerful because it's usually the Catholic buildings and place them Protestant ones. But that should not be a problem. Oh yes, perfectly little, little geographic formation there to get in front of the guns. Put our Hessian line two units of foot to make the centre. Pair of, another battery of guns on the road. Probably tilt these guys back just a smidge. So, two units of line and a Worcester regiment. 23rd foot of Royal Worcesters. Then our elite heavies and skirmishers can make up the left. Then they will. 
able to drown. Them. Well, it depends on the threat laid down. If these guys are going to push or defend. Got a range in the woods. How it's over to the rear. Cavalry each flank. Hamilton in the centre. Every single gun and artillery piece is going to open up on their artillery. Well, I suspect we will still have to move. Well, we may have an attack. They're pretty weak. Shots, I need to be careful there. Take them out of square. Already changed them. Now they are they're always target for everyone. Killing zone, and you're going to pay. General's dead. Classic, perfect in development. General still, artillery is still fine. Pop shots on us, so let's move our main line up. Let's move our main line. Up. Troops don't need to, but change my mind and decided it would be a neat thing to do. Especially if these guys are some of my original units. Just 
kill men are running away from these spikes. Gunners aren't needed. Because the army's going to be destroyed anyway, I don't need to worry about specifically targeting certain units. I mean, I don't know what the, the rules are on. There might be, there might be rules around. You know, Still feels right to go after their elite infantry, but I don't know what the rules are specifically about experience gain, depending on the quality of troops being killed. Or if it's better to kill entire units rather than the rather than like getting maximum kills. I'm pretty sure it's just kills, it's not complicated, but you know, I've not done the research myself. Damn right it was decisive. Andrew Hamilton, who's fought his way through America is now going to fight into southern France. March. Zero. Zero hex given. Replenish you is possible to be replenished. First foot guards. Okay, because they're getting, because they've got to experience four, let's give them a name. First. No. First. No, volunteer sounds too irregular. Let's call it. Let's leave it for now. I can't think of a good name. Don't don't ruin it. Name them something. Pants. I mean, oh, I'm surprised they did retreat. Sir. Actually, I can get this weakened army chase them down. Share the experience about a bit. Anything more? Guards got experience without even getting, without even losing a casualty. Just lots of them did. So if I do this, that's, that's enough to flatten them out to one chevron each. Let's pull them back. Let's move Andrew Hamilton up to secure this bridge. Good stuff. Because you're still. They've been recruited. Thought you were waiting on marines and such. Or did I cancel recruiting them in Venice? In Venice, I think I might have cancelled them. Okay, well then you can push up anyway, and we'll sort that out next time. So you're all done. I mean, you're you're slowly being converted. Rome is being converted very slowly. But we are in a Protestant we are in a Catholic region after all. I could do with another I could do with another rake to go and kill. I might just send might just send this guy to go do it. Elton Gosling. Have you got any special traits? Plus one subterfuge for for assassin missions, plus one for du when dueling with swords. Send him to go kill them. You know, I mean, I lose visibility on on Austria, but I'm feeling much more confident about it. So let's hit enter. I need rest. Another mission. Oh, my rate didn't get him. Damn. Aha! Another French army. Oh, I forgot about these guys. The sea Hooray! Is out. Take that brig. Just to add insult to injury. Huzzah! Back you go to the depths, France. Thought you were going to get an easy kill, huh? You thought wrong. Prussians are milling about. Let's see if the Poles have managed to slow my game down again this turn, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot we were at war. Holy heck! That's a good navy. Got some heavy firsts. Eesh. Sorry guys, they were just 
They'd only just finished a win against the French. Poland. Like I said, don't want to go for them just yet. I want them, I don't mind them expanding and I want them to develop and grow a little bit as well. That's what I want. I want to face a late game Polish army. I don't think I've ever actually done that. Because they normally die. They're normally dead by now. And the Russians have taken Ankara. <laughs> oh, God alive. Russia's going to be an interesting player. Oh, it's going to be like fighting. Fighting in my US campaign. The Mughals. Georgians. Just quite content to sail around. I had such specific dreams and goals for There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Rooms. Select the type of... Punch card looms. Don't go for that anymore. Go for... Reform Naval Administration because I want late marines. And I'll build this just to shut them up. You're all repaired. Yes. So you need potentially just two two units of artillery and a howitzer, maybe. One, two, three. Good. One turn, you'll be done. Your humble servant. You're still replenishing on the on the coast. Send my dragoon to Marseille because I'm not about to capture it immediately. I can afford to raid it a bit. Let's upgrade Milan to Governor's Chambers. Oh, damn it! Church school. Ah, oh, it's not a... It's not a... Religious building. I don't want a religious building, I should say. Uh, good. Let's upgrade the fishing fleet, because me as well. You got metal roads. Milan could do with metal roads. Let's go to Venice. So right now, Vienna's acting as quite a useful buffer zone. Oh, that's why the Poles declared on them. Because they swapped territory with the Ottomans. Where have they swapped it from? Or did they, or did, or did they just straight up buy it? Maybe. Ah, um, oh, Cuba's got lots of upgrades. Okay, first things first. So I've got sugar, sugar and tobacco. Tobacco it is. Especially the abundant yield plantations. Abundant, abundant. High yield. Principe is poor. First, what's the problem? So they can't export everything yet. So that calls for another trade port or metal roads. Let's go for metal roads. Oh, and a trade port. Lovely stuff. Send you on another, another mission. Bang! Nope. He's been spotted. He got spotted last time, so Spain's probably going to be a bit unhappy with us. But Spain is no is not present at all in the Americas. Okay, when your ships are ready, they'll sell down and join the French blockade. Because this is this will be the most efficient countering of their troops. Even though they're all chaff, I don't still don't want to fight them, not if I can help it. Um, anyway, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the further adventures of the 13 colonies. Cheers, everyone.